Hey everyone, I just have to get my coffee real quick. Good morning, good morning. This is my coffee. I get the Stoke cold brew coffee. There's no sugar in it. It's only 15 calories. And then I use this really good vanilla silk almond creamer. And this one's only 25 calories and it only has four grams of sugar. Good morning, good morning. So if you're looking for, if you like iced coffee, and they're like me and live in a small town and don't have a Starbucks next to you. This is a close second. You can get it at Walmart. And it's brand new and I can't get it open. <sighs> I should have tried to get my coffee before I went live, but I was trying to figure out something on Gmail and got stuck. Technology. I'm constantly learning. Hold on a second. So look how pretty this is. So you pour it in, in your cup, in a cup. Then, I love how pretty this is. Oh, isn't that so pretty? When you can see the creamer go down and If you're a coffee lover, you're like, yes, yes. All right, let me go put this away. Okay, so we're gonna make a QR code flyer today. Let me know if you can hear me. Where am I? Earplugs. Okay. Let me put on my earplugs. So we're going to be using Canva. And we're going to be using your Gmail account. So, to make the QR code, we'll need that. Well, we'll need Canva to make the QR code. And then we'll need your Gmail or whatever email you have. Yahoo. Maybe, I don't know, actually. No, it has to be Gmail. You need a Gmail account. Um, so you need a Gmail account to make a an online an online form or questionnaire to get the leads. Good morning! Yay! We're happy to learn. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Let me fix it out of here and get into Canva really quick. And then I'll share my screen. Oh, and then I'll need my Gmail account up. Let me log into that so I don't share my password with everybody. Okay, signed in. All right, so let's share my screen here. Do, 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 share. Screen, share screen. We'll do the whole thing. Share. Ah, oops, there we go. <laughs> okay, so let's go to Canva and my all my designs. Canva is a free website you I use, anyone can use to make flyers and graphics. I just made a graphic for um, our new beauty influencer, Abigail. I need to make a welcome graphic for her too. I need to do that. Let me write that down. 
It's been like the craziest Monday. Yesterday was the craziest Monday ever. Like super crazy. Where's my notepad? There it is. Um, welcome post Abigail. Okay, so now I won't forget. Okay, so this is Canva.com, and this is pretty much like um, your one-stop shop for making graphics, for making flyers, for, for making business cards. You can make business cards here. I use Zazzle personally to, to make my business cards. Um, they have designs that are already made. But if you want to make something yourself, you can use Google, not Google, you can use Canva. And they do have pre-made designs here on Canva as well. So I'm going to go to all my designs or all your designs. See, there's, this is the one I made for Abigail. So cute. I love her logo. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. This is one I made for Lisa, Dean, and her team. Um, here's the one I made for April when she went live yesterday. Okay, so we're going to go, where's the flyer I made? See if I can find it. There it is. So this is the flyer I made to get people who want foundation samples. People who want to be matched, color matched for their foundation. And I chose foundation because it already comes in these sweet little you know, sample packets that we have here. Let me go back to my stream yard and blow myself up again. So you can see, see in our back office, we have these samples that we could order for $2 for a sheet. We have the VFX pro samples. We have the uh, pharmacy, the full coverage concealer. We have the stay matte samples. We have the CC cream samples and they're already packaged like this. So we could send them out easily affordably and clean where we're not getting our hands into the product it's already sealed and we just send it out to our customers to keep things clean because no one wants to get the you know what that's going around okay so that's why i chose to do foundation samples in this lead flyer so what i did is i went to my phone and I found a picture of that swatch, you know, how it has her arm with all the different swatches of the foundation colors. I had that picture on my phone. Here it is. Here's the picture. And I uploaded it into Canva. So I'm going to delete that right now. But what you do is you, and you can do this on your phone. So, oh, I know. Oh, I just learned how to share my phone screen too. Um, but you can do it on the computer too. So on your computer, you would hit uploads, you would hit upload media, click on device. And if you have a Mac, you could go down to photos and then all the photos that are on your phone, mine always takes a while to upload, will pop up here and you can pick the one you want and open it and upload it. <clears throat> if that doesn't work, if you don't have a Mac, and you have um, a PC, then you can email yourself the photo from your phone. So see, there's all my photos. Look at all those beautiful faces. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, so you could, like see, let's upload the swatches of the liquid, liquid eyeshadows. So I click the photo I want to upload, then I click open, and it puts it all the way at the top up here. So then I have it in my images. You could do this on the phone, on your app. So let me go back and make myself bigger so you can see. So here's my phone. I'm going to search for the, oops, I got to sign in first. Here we go. Come on. Wrong way. So I'm going to, why would it let me search? Do I have to sign in? Anyways, okay, so here it is. Here's the search. I found it. So it's hard to tell, but then on my phone it says search, and then 
since I use Canva a lot, like it always has the four apps I use the most. So there's Canva. I'm going to click on Canva and it's going to pull it up. Then I'm just going to click on anything. I'm just going to click on the first thing I see. This is how I learn how to do it. I'm just going to click on the first um, design that was there. I know it's kind of hard to see. And then if you see where it has this little plus sign right there, right here, that little plus sign, I'm going to click on that. And it's going to say uploads. And I'm going to click on uploads. And then it looks just like I did it on the computer. I can upload media. So I'm going to click upload media, this purple bar. And it's going to ask me, you know, where do you want to upload your media from? And I'm going to say my photo library. And it's going to put up all my photos. And I'm going to upload this lipstick swatch. Pictures from the new lipsticks that we got yesterday. And so on my phone, it just puts a little check mark by that. And then I'm going to click add at the top. Add. And then it uploads it for me. So there you go. So that's how to upload an image into Canva from your phone and also how to upload an image to Canva from your computer. So then, let me share my screen again. So I uploaded that foundation picture. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna make a copy of this and I'm gonna, excuse me, and I'm gonna delete everything. So I'll show you how I did it. Um, delete. Delete, delete, oops. Okay, so I went into Canva, let's go back home. I've uploaded my picture that I wanna use as my background. Then I went onto this top search bar and I went and typed in flyer. And then you hit create a blank flyer. Or if you like one of these templates, you can use one of these templates and just, you know, change a couple things to make it your own. But I kind of like to do my own thing. So I have this blank flyer. So then I'm going to go into my uploads and I'm going to look for that foundation picture that I uploaded into my Canva website. And I know it's down here somewhere. There it is. Boom. And then what I can do is I can right click it and I get to click set image as background. Boom. How cool is that? So then I want to do some, some text. So I'm going to go here into text. And I really like this sparkle free text. I don't know. I just really like it. So I've been using that a lot. And I'm going to put it up here. And what did I say it was in the flyer? What did I put? Let me go back to my home. I put enter to win. Okay, so that's what I did. So we're going to take out the sparkle and we're going to put enter to win. And then I'm just going to kind of stretch it out a little bit. And I want to change the color because I don't like this yellow. So I'm going to click on this little A button right here. See how it has the text color. So I'm going to click on that. And what I really like about Canva is whatever photo that you use as a background, it automatically pulls up the colors in that photo. So you don't even have to think like, oh, what color do I want? So then I just play around. So I'm going to click on this. Ooh, that kind of matches the whole theme of the photo. Or maybe try this color. It's even brighter. Or maybe try that color for a darker color or the dark brown or the lighter brown. Um, yeah, really, it, either one looks really good. Let's do, let's do that one. It's kind of bright. So we'll do enter to win 
and we're gonna oops move this up a little bit like right there so now I want to put um, like a text box so I'm gonna go to elements right here on the left where it says has templates uploads photos elements I'm gonna click on elements you know what and I should check on my phone to make sure I'm not missing any questions let's do a little pause let's go into team the Bitcoin group I'm gonna go into my live and make sure I'm not missing any questions hi Bonnie hi Ted or hi Nina hi Kelly okay good morning Taylor okay so I have the questions up here, so if I'm not missing them. If I'm going too fast, let me know. If you have questions, just shoot them in the comments. So I'm going to click this where it says recently used. I'm going to click this circle. I kind of like circles. If you don't like circles, you can click squares or, you know, octagons and hexagons, and whatever you want. But I kind of like circles. So I'm going to put that, like, over here. Because I want to leave room for my QR code box right here. Um, because I want to show, I like showing the the swatches of all the different foundations on her arm. I just think that looks pretty. So I, I want to keep, I want to keep that. So maybe that kind of makes it. I want to keep it symmetrical. So let's do that again. And then this way. There we go. So maybe put that over here. Because I still want to highlight the swatch pick the swatches maybe a little bit bigger and a little bit like right there so now I want to add more text in there you know what and let's make it a, a lighter color so you can see the text so let's do maybe that one kind of looks cool let's go with that so we'll go with that brown and we're gonna go back into text and you can i think what i did is i hit add a subheading yep that's what i did and then it automatically puts a little text box for you and i'm going to move this up la, 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 la. right there and you see how it has the i'm like touching it with my finger <laughs> you guys can't see me touch the screen with my finger you see i don't know if you can see that but it has these purple lines where it shows you exactly where the text is centered so that's where i want it I saw these purple lines that went down the middle and down, um, down, the, down vertically and down horizontally. So I know that it's centered. So I'm gonna put here, um, enter to win um, a virtual foundation match. And we can make the text look more fancy. So if you click here where it says open sans, this is where you can change the text. And I kind of just play around to see what I like and what I don't like. We want to make it readable. Um, so nothing too fancy, like you wouldn't want to do adrenaline. I think that's what it's called. Because it's kind of hard to see, right? So you want to pick something that you can easily read and then you can make it bigger. So if you click here, it says um, the 24, you can make the text bigger. Oh, there we go. That looks good. And let's, oops, let's move that up like that. A virtual foundation match. Let's see, how does this match mine? Do, do, do. Oh, okay. Oh, see, I did two different texts here to make it even more fancy. So, we can do that too. Or you could just keep it simple like this. Sometimes less is more. So, let's just do that. A virtual foundation match. And then if you want, you can put your website underneath. Like, this. let's do another text box. So, I'm going to click this one that has a little bit smaller text. Click it there. And I'm going to, since it's hard for me to read that because it's so small, I'm going to go down here on the bottom where it says zoom. And I'm going to zoom it to 75 so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to delete that. And now I don't want to delete that. I just want to delete the text. 
So I'm going to delete the text. And we'll just put www.pharmacyus.com slash your website, your name. It's usually when you join pharmacy, they usually put your name as your personal website. And sometimes it'll have a number with it. And you can change it to make it your own in the back office. So if you want me to show how to change that in the back office to change your website to say like, Jesse's makeup shop or you know something unique to you just let me know in the comments and when I'm done with this I'll log into the back office and show you how to do that okay so we're gonna move this down here la 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 and maybe I'll add a little I'm gonna move it over here so I can see it. And then I think I'm gonna add another element on the bottom. <laughs> Do the square. And I'm gonna move it down here and put the website, your website. We're gonna have to cover up shade number 10. Sorry, shade 10. I wanna make sure it's in the middle. And then we can move this down there so that you're not totally being ambiguous like if people really wanted to know what you were selling well number one do I have this designed you can see the VFX Pro foundation so you would know it's pharmacy and then number two there's your website at the bottom so I'm not being totally ambiguous with these flyers like if you really look into the details you know what I'm selling but you don't want to be like wham bam I'm with pharmacy I'm trying to get your information because no one wants to be sold to. No one wants to be sold to. We want to attract people to us. We don't want to shy them away by being pushy. And sometimes we can be pushy in these flyers because we're like, come here, come here, sign this, do that. So it's, it's kind of like a delicate balance. So what I did to kind of hide that VFX, I think what I did in my other flyer was I went like this. There we go just to kind of hide it a little bit, not too much, but my website is still on the flyer. So if they went to my website, they would see. And then I'm gonna make it smaller. Let's do 104. There we go. See, so it's entered to win. Your, your, uh, your eyesight is going vertical with this graphic because you're going down her arm. Your eyes are automatically looking down the arm with the shades of the foundation. And so I matched that with the text. Enter to win, a virtual foundation match, your eyes automatically go down. Okay, so we have this over here. Actually, I'm gonna move it, move this up so I can see it. Move this over here. Cause I'm gonna add that QR code. Okay, so there we go. Then, and you can even put that text in white to even make it pop out more. See, boom. There's your website. Okay, so now we're gonna add that QR code. This is where you need Google. So you're gonna go into your Gmail and you're gonna go, well actually, you don't even need to do that. You just need to go to Google because usually you're still signed in with your Gmail. You go to Google and you'll know you're signed into your Gmail when you see your little picture here that you put for your avatar for a Gmail, for your Gmail account. So that lets you know you're signed in. So then you're gonna click this waffle right here. It looks like a waffle. That's like their, their menu bar. So you click their menu bar and you're gonna click on drive. And again, if I'm going too fast, let me know. So then, <clears throat> sorry, I need more coffee. So then you're going to make a form. So this is the form that I made. We'll take a look at it and then I'll show you to make it from scratch. This is the form that I made. It matches my flyer. And these are the questions I asked. So enter to win a virtual foundation match. Simply enter your name and number to be entered to win a virtual foundation match and a local beauty influencer will contact you if you win. 
Then, you, then I asked what her first and last name was, what is her email address, and what is her cell phone to text you if you win. That's really all you need. Really all you need. And Taylor Barber is a leader on our team, and she made a really cool flyer to not flyer. She made a really cool quest, a form that has all these questions so she can get you the perfect foundation match. So you can even do that too if you want. Um, or you can keep it simple like this. You can be very detailed and ask them like, what foundation do you use right now? Um, do you have a yellow undertone or a red undertone? Um, what, what skin type do you have? What do you want to your foundation to do? Do you want it to give you flawless coverage? Do you want mini coverage, full coverage? Do you want it to cover your pores? Do you want it to give you a dewy complexion? Like all these questions are very good questions to add to your flyer. I just kept mine very simple because I just wanted it to be fast when, because these flyers are gonna be out in like restaurants, coffee shops, chiropractic facilities. Um, and your person who's looking at this flyer might not have a time to fill out a whole form. So I kept mine very simple. Then when I get their phone number and email address, then that's when I message them. Um, I usually do text messages and I ask all the detailed questions to get them the right foundation match. Um, but for this one, I kept it very simple because I'm gonna do all the detailed work when I'm on the phone with them. But it's however you wanna do it. So, um, yeah, so that's why I kept mine simple. But you can get very detailed and, and be, ask questions, very good questions, like what skin type they have, what coverage they're looking for, what they're currently using right now, so you can kind of compare to what we have um, and what they want their foundation to do, um, what finished look they want, they want matte finish, they want dewy finish, all those are great questions. A good place to go to get these questions is for foundation. Oh, what is it called? Il Maquillage. We have a really good foundation um, questionnaire. And so what I would do if I were gonna make a very detailed questionnaire is I would fill out their questionnaire, take the quiz. So here's the quiz. And I would just copy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with copying, guys. I would literally copy every question that they go through and put it in my Google form. So their first question would be, do you have dry skin? Do you have oily skin? Do you have combination skin? Is your skin balanced? Boom, I'm gonna copy that and put it in my form. So don't be like, go find people who are the experts at what they do, like Il Maquillage is an expert in foundation matching. They're known for that. And just copy what they do and use it for pharmacy. There is nothing wrong from learning from those who have the success that you want and copying their strategies into your business. So, but for mine, I just kept it really simple. So that's the form I made. So let's make a form. So we're gonna go into new and we're gonna create a Google form. And it has this little arrow here and we're gonna do a blank form. So this is what it looks like for a blank form. And then you want to title it. So how did I title mine? Um, enter, what did I did? Enter to in a virtual foundation match. So enter to win, oops, a virtual foundation. Make sure you spell it right. I am not good in spelling, guys. That is not my expertise. So if you see something that's spelled wrong, please let me know. I would really appreciate it because that is not my strength. And determine a virtual foundation match. And then what did I do here? Simply enter your name and number to be entered to win a virtual foundation. Do, do, do. Simply enter your name and phone number below to be entered to win a virtual foundation match. You can just leave it like that. 
You don't even have to say in a local beauty influencer will call you. You could just leave it like that if you want. Let me put a local beauty influencer who will contact you if you win. Then you could put in a question. So I'm going to change this to be um, first and last name. And then it automatically pop, it gives you the option of a short answer text. You can change what kind of answer you want them to do. Like you could do a paragraph, you could do multiple choice, you could do check boxes, you could do drop downs, um, all these cool things you can do. But I just want a short answer. I just want them to put their name and a phone number. Then I'm gonna click here where it says add a question on this little plus sign, add a question. So then I'm gonna put email address. And then they'll type it in. Short answer. Add another question. I'm going to put phone number. And then I'm going to put in parentheses um, for text message purposes only. Some people don't like to be called. This. You don't have to do that. You can just put a phone number and keep it simple. One thing I've learned in direct sales as we're making these flyers and we're putting them out, some places, some locations that we put them are really good and give us lots of leads. Some places are duds and we get no leads. Sometimes the flyer just needs to be tweaked a little bit. Like sometimes if I put a phone number, no one leaves me their phone number. But if I put for text message purposes only, then they're like, okay, she's not going to call me. She's going to text message me. I'm okay with that. And then I get better, I get more leads. I get more success. So it's a learning process when you're making these flyers and you're putting them out. Don't get discouraged if you put it at a pizza shop and you don't get any leads. You know, it was there for a month and you didn't get any leads. Don't get discouraged if you put it at your coffee shop and someone throws it away. Those things happen. And we just have to keep going because there will be that one place you put your flyer at where you're going to get all these leads and you're going to be like, oh my God, this is the holy grail of lead generation <laughs> because it's like you get so much from it. So you just have to keep going. Don't give up. Keep going. Okay. So that's where my three questions are going to be. So now there's this little customizable what is that? A paint palette, paint palette right here. I'm going to click on that and I want to add an image. So what's cool is that Google has images that you could already pick. Like if you just want to pick one of the ones that they have. And I think if you go to, um, yeah, so you could just pick any one of these images and some of them are, um, what is that called? Active, like some of them have, like they move and they have moving lights and stuff. Some of them are really cool. Or you could click on photos that you've uploaded and use your own photo. Tapas and tastings, ooh, I wanna do that. Let's go do that. Where's my photo? Oh, there's my Joey when he was in the NICU. There's my mom with my Joey. That's gonna make me cry. Okay, where is that photo? Am I in my right Gmail account? I must have been in some, something else. Well, let's go get the photo from Canva. So we're gonna go back to Canva and we're going to go back. So we're, we have this flyer. It's pretty much good to go. All we need is to end, end, add the QR code. So we're gonna go here and scroll down where it says more. This is Canva's little menu bar so we're going to go all the way down where it says more and it's going to have a little application here that says qr code so i'm going to click on that and it has a spot for me to put a website that is where i'm going to put the website to my flyer but my flyer is not ready yet so 
we got to go to Canva and we're going to go back to home. Let's get out of here. And we're going to go. I need um, what is it called? A cover photo? Yeah, Facebook cover, the really skinny one. So I type in that. And then there's all these Facebook covers. I want the really skinny one because that one kind of matches the size. Where is it? Where is it? Or maybe it's Facebook event cover. Is that the one that's really skinny? I saw it yesterday when I was making the graphic for Abigail, and now I can't find it. Okay, well, anyways, we'll just use a blank one. So we're going to put choose a blank Facebook cover photo. And I'm going to go back into my uploads. And I'm going to look for my foundation picture. And upload it. And then I'm going to hit set as image background. And see, I made it like really big. That's okay, that's what I want. So now I'm gonna go back into my text here. And we're gonna hit my sparkle. And I'm gonna put enter to win. And then I'm going to drag this out a little bit. Kind of stretch it out. There we go. And then I'm going to change the color to that blue, not blue, brown color. I think that matches. Yeah, that's the right one to make it match. And then I'm going to add, go back to elements, and I'm going to add a little square for my text. And I don't want it black. We chose this color, right? I think that's what we chose. Yep. And I'm going to stretch this out. Do, do, do. And I'm going to right click it and I'm going to put send backward. See? Because, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. And then I want to move it. Got to click out of it. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay, I got to move the text first. Let's move that up here. And now I can move it, there we go. And I wanna put it like right here, and I would even want it skinnier than that. Let's kind of move it like right there. And then I'm gonna add text again, add a subheading, move that on up, move it on up to the east side. Okay. And then what did we put? A virtual foundation match. A virtual foundation match. And we want to change the text. What text did we use on the other side? We used, hey, gotcha. <laughs> That's so ironic because we're like, we want your information. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha information. Okay. So then let's make that a little bigger. Let's see, maybe 64? No, a little bigger than that. 80? A little bigger than that. 96? That looks good. All right, so we're going to kind of put it in the middle and then put this down here. It looks pretty cool. Is it centered? There we go. I want to make sure it's centered. Um, is this centered? There, that's centered. Okay, so it's centered. We've got our cover photo. So now we're going to download this. So we're going to click download. And I want to save it as a PNG, which is another way for saying image. I'm saving it as an image. It's a high quality image. PNG is high quality image. JPG or JPEG is like a smaller, lower quality image. Um, 
So actually, let's do a J well, let's start with a PNG. If it doesn't work, we'll do a JPEG. So we'll download this. <laughs> okay, so that's downloaded and it's called Enter to Win. So then I'm going to go back to my Google form, not the one I already made, and I'm going to click on my theme button. Here's my theme button. And I'm going to click Choose Image. And I'm going to go to Upload. And I'm going to go to Browse. And it should be on my downloads. And it's going to say enter to win. Where's the E's? E, F, G. I went too far. There it is. Upload. Oh my gosh, that worked. There we go. Boom. And then I'm just going to make sure that what you can see is the enter to win a virtual foundation match. Done. So then, and look what Google does. It changes the colors for me so that it matches and all looks good together. And if I don't want it to be this dark brown, I can change it to the light brown, or I can do red, or I can do this, or I can do that. That looks kind of cool. So there we go. So there's my form. We've made it all pretty. It matches your flyer. Like, here's our flyer. It matches our flyer. So. We're going to go up here where it says this little preview button and it has the eyeball. You're going to click your eyeball. Or maybe that's not it. My bad. Where is it? Send. Duh. We're going to click on send. Click the send button. And this is a, 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 a little um, cartoon image for link or website. So you could click your paper clip. You want to shorten the URL so it's not so long, and you're going to copy it. So I'm going to copy this, and that's what I'm going to put into Canva right here in this URL. Paste. Now I'm going to hit Generate Code. And there's my QR code. So I'm going to put that lovely guy or gal right here and make it a little bit smaller. Just like that. So that's how I made that virtual foundation match flyer. Enter to win a virtual foundation match flyer. And there's your website right there. You don't have to put your website if you don't want to. Um, but um, it's kind of nice because some people might see that. Like people who are very detail oriented, they'll see that and they'll go to your website and they'll be like, oh, I'll just, I don't need a foundation match. I'll just buy the foundation right here. And you could get a sale by putting a lead out in a restaurant or a coffee shop while you're taking care of your kids or going to get groceries. So that's how you make the flyer. Now, when people scan this QR code on their phone, it is going to bring them to your form. And if they choose to fill it out, their responses will go right here where it says responses. That's where their responses will go. And then, so you just check in on it periodically. You log into your Google account. You click on Drive. Let's see. Let's exit out of here. And exit out of here. So you would log into your Google account, click on the Drive button, go to your form, because it'll be saved here. Just check on it every now and then. And click Responses. And if people responded, they'll fill it out. Now, I have my form in two spots. I have it in my dentist and I have it in my gym. And so I haven't gotten any responses yet. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the pizza place in town. Oh, actually, I can pull you guys up now. You don't need to share my screen. So I'm going to go and add my form to the pizza place. Um, because that the pizza place in town, I live in a very small town in, in North Dakota, pretty much on the Canada border. It's only a town of 3,000 people. Um, so I'm going to put it in the pizza place because the pizza restaurant has a message board. And it's super popular in this town. It's like a gold mine for a business. 
Like it's always busy. So I'm gonna put my flyer there and see if I get some leads there. I'm also gonna put it, where did I see another message board in town? Um, the laundromat, There was. A, there's a laundromat in town and they have a message board, I'll put it there. Um, and then when I'm traveling, like I went to Fargo last weekend and uh, my husband's friend is a chiropractor and we went and saw his office. So I didn't have the QR, I didn't have a printed form with me because I had left my planner at home. Say I have my planner here and I printed out extra flyers and have them in my planner. So if I see a message board, boop, I just put it in there put my flyer in that message board. But I didn't bring my planner with me because it was a last minute trip that we planned to Fargo. So I put my business cards instead. So let's see, see how that happens. But QR code flyers are really good to use um, because people don't have to fill anything out. They just scan that. Here, let me show you. They scan this little code with their phone and it pulls up your Google form. They fill it out and you get your contact information. You could also put it in small mom and pop businesses, like even small mom and pop businesses that like clothing boutiques and restaurants and um, like a jewelry boutique or kind of like a Hallmark, but it's a small mom and pop, like a pharmacy have all these messages boards. The local ice cream shop in town has a message board. We, we could put your flyer there. So just keep trying putting your flyers places and keep checking your um, Google Drive form and see if you get any responses and just keep trying to see until you find that like holy grail location where you get a bunch of leads. It's just going out there and failing towards success. success. We go out there and we try new things and most of the time they fail and we try different ways until we find that thing that works and then we repeat the thing that works. So I hope that was helpful for everyone. I don't see any questions. Let me go back. Oh, you can use the PixArt app too. Yeah, you can use PixArt app. There's lots of different apps you can use. I use Canva. Um, cause it's, it's easy for me to use whatever, use whatever is easy for you to use. There's no wrong way. And something that I train on, you could have a better way to do it. So well, that's why, um, I'm always open for people to go live in the group and share what they know, uh, so that we can all learn from each other. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you ladies and gentlemen have a great day and um, you know what I'll probably do too for people who don't understand or for people who are, aren't too tech savvy and don't want to use Google, I'll make this flyer. I'll share my screen. Hold on a second. I'll make this flyer instead of using a, a QR code. I cannot talk today. Instead of using a QR code, I'll do the, the old school way where you, where you like, um, you cut the paper and you see where it says like, that has your, like your phone number on it or your website. I'll make a flyer where people just can pull something off that has your website on it, um, where you can put your website on it. Well, no, because then you'll still need to. Oh, Canva's really easy. I'll make a, a blank form where you could just put your website on and you just cut it with the scissors so that it looks like a little fan. And then um, people can just pull that off if they want it. Um, and then, or you could use this image too. I'll put this image in our group, in our album section, and you could put this on a lead jar. I haven't even told, told you guys about lead jars yet. That's a whole nother new training about lead jars. So, um, we'll train about lead jars another day, but I'll put the images up there so that it's, you know, easier for people to just print it out, put it in their their community and just old school, like pull the paper off of the paper, like pull the info off the paper. I'll do that for you guys. So hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks for watching this very long and detailed live. And hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.